Hey guys, welcome to Life with Tash. I'm Tash. <laughs> Actually, I'm Natasha. Truthfully, not that many people in my real life call me Tash. Um, mostly just my sister and like one friend, but that is the name of this channel and that's what we're going with. <laughs> so welcome. I guess maybe you wanna know why you're here, <laughs> why I'm here. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit about that. So I originally started this channel the intention of it being like a booktube channel because I read a lot. I spend a lot of time um, talking about books and buying books and reading books and I love books. But then I realized that I don't think that I want to produce content only about books. I also have, you know, like most people, a lot of other passions that I would like to talk about and share with people. So I just decided that this is just kind of gonna be everything. <laughs> uh, so I do still wanna talk about books. I also wanna talk about books that I am writing. I am actually going to be doing the AuthorTube newbie tag because uh, it is today, November 2nd, and NaNoWriMo has started and I am in it <laughs> 110% and I figured that would be a good place for me to start. You can also expect some other types of videos. I spent a lot of time doing meal prepping and cooking and I think that I have a lot of valuable tips to share because I've been doing it for so long and just general things like that. If there's anything that you would like to see me do or any questions that you have, definitely leave them in the comments. I'm pretty much an open book and will likely answer just about anything. So let's start this AuthorTube newbie tag. Uh, so question one, how did you find out about AuthorTube? I just did. I <laughs> have no idea actually. I suppose I might have been looking something up about plotting, I think is where I was when I found out about it. Um, I had kind of decided to toss the first novel that I was working on. I just didn't feel like it was a story that I wanted to be telling anymore um, and just kind of wanted to start fresh with something. I had the idea that I was going to do NaNo but wasn't really like fully committed to it yet. I also didn't really have anything that I wanted to write about. so. Um, I'm like a research nerd and uh, spend a lot of time like looking things up because my friend and I are uh, working on a screenplay right now also something that I had never done so I was um, just doing some research and then came across a bunch of author two videos and kind of got sucked in and that's it <laughs> What genres do you write in? Contemporary romance is where I kind of lie right now. What is your preferred writing type, point of view, and category of story? I kind of flip-flop. So category of story, definitely, like I was saying, uh, adult romance, um, contemporary romance, things like that. Writing types and point of view kind of flip-flops between what I'm writing. Currently, the project that I'm working on and Nano is um, first person present. Number four, are you a plotter, pantser, or planter? Normally I would say plotter, uh, but currently this project that I'm working on for Nano is a planter project. Uh, planter, if you're not familiar, is kind of a mishmash between a plotter and a planter, and the reason that I'm kind of planting this is because I only came up with my concept like a week and a half ago and just haven't fully had time to plot and outline and do all that kind of stuff. So that's why right now I'm falling into a planter kind of space. Uh, it wasn't intentional. We'll see how it goes. I have never pantsed anything in my life, so. Could go well, could go terribly. Number five, are you self-published, published or yet to be published? I am yet to be published. Uh, that's it. 
<laughs> Six, what publishing company, literary agent, and or printing company are you represented by or use if you're not yet published? What is your dream publishing house and or literary agent? I don't know. Uh, I'm still kind of um, flip-flopping between self-publishing and hybrid publishing. Um, I think I will probably go the hybrid route uh, just because I, I feel like, especially for a first-time author, there's just a little bit more guidance there than if you're self-publishing, um, like more people to kind of support you along the way. So that is kind of where I'm heading to right now, but I also can't definitively say one way or the other. Number seven, what author to related videos can we expect to find on your channel? I'm going to be hosting a number of live streams during NaNo, which I'm really, really excited about. I love participating in live streams and watching live streams. I sometimes watch back older live streams when I'm just at home writing by myself. I plan on doing a few vlog style videos, especially during NaNo. And we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what else comes up. Number eight, when did you start writing? Probably nearly 15 years ago, I would say. Uh, I wrote a little bit in high school. Um, it's actually quite funny to me when I sometimes randomly um, find something that I wrote in high school. <laughs> uh, I stopped writing for pretty much all of my 20s. I didn't consider myself a writer. I still have a hard time with calling myself a writer, but... Um, I thankfully have a lot of very supportive friends who constantly tell me that even though I'm not published, I am still a writer because I am writing. And coming to terms with that kind of took a while, um, but I would say like more seriously writing in the past two to three years, I've spent a lot more time um, learning the craft and trying to read as much about writing as I could and practice as much as I could. Number nine, what was the first story you ever wrote? I have no idea. I can tell you that when I was very young, I wanted to be a songwriter. I've never written a song. I have no idea where this concept came from, but I wrote a song when I was like, really it's a poem because there's no melody or anything musical about it it's just words so it's a poem uh when i was like seven seven or eight called if i was a figure skater it, yeah it's bad but i wrote it <laughs> and i think i still have it around somewhere in like my seven-year-old chicken scratch number 10 what authors have inspired your writing the most oof I don't know. I read a lot of different genres and different authors. I I don't want to say JK because I feel like that's so typical, but I think that like she definitely has inspired um kind of like this idea in me that if you have a story to tell, there will always be somebody who wants to hear it. Um, obviously, <laughs> nobody's ever going to read my writing in the same way that they have read Harry Potter or any of her other books. But um, just like, I think as a young woman, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to amend this a little bit because when I was young, I would say, a mixture between JK and Essie Hinton um, because even before I knew what it was to be a woman in this world I was outraged that these two women who wrote these amazing books that I connected so well with had to hide who they were from the world because they were women and it's still like, oh, it just irks me. But truly when I was, I don't know, nine or 10, like these ideas started coming out of like 
especially Essie Hinton when I was reading like The Outsiders and Rumblefish when I was, I don't know, grade five or six, I think I read, um, I read them both. And just like, who cares that a woman wrote this? What, does that mean boys are not going to want to read it because a woman wrote it? Ugh, I could go on and rant. But yeah, probably the, <laughs> those two. Number 11. Do you schedule your writing sessions or simply get to writing whenever you can find the time? I'm trying to be better at actually scheduling um, and actually putting time in my schedule to write. Right now, I... I am working full time. I work contract work. So uh, I'm going to be working full time only for about another week or so. Um, so being able to do both probably wouldn't happen if I wasn't scheduling it. When I'm not working, I think it's really easy to fall into a pattern of, oh, I have so much time, it'll get done. And then all of a sudden it's the end of the day and you're, you know, no closer to your goal. Number 12. Do you type on a computer, typewriter, write everything out by hand, or use a blend of those? And where do you write in general? I'm a mixture, I guess, of computer and handwritten, only because I do a lot of um, brainstorming and note taking in a notebook, which I would eventually like to make a video of kind of that process. Uh, I do also always have my bullet journal and um, a little idea notebook with me just in case you know something strikes me or I learn something interesting then I can write it down there but like actual writing like composing a story happens um, on the computer and the last question number 13 what are you most looking forward to now that you are a part of AuthorTube first of all weird thinking that I'm a part of AuthorTube only because, um, I don't know, I haven't really created anything yet and <laughs> nobody even knows I'm here. But similar to writing, I guess, like, I'm doing it, so I'm here. Um, what am I most looking forward to? I would say just connecting with other people who are kind of on the same journey that I am and meeting people who are, um, you know, a little bit farther along that, um, have sort of done the things that I hope for myself and can hopefully learn from. And, and just, I think the community aspect is really freaking cool. So that is the end of the AuthorTube newbie tag. So that is it for this uh, tag video and kind of my introduction to the YouTube community, specifically the AuthorTube community. I'm just really excited to kind of have somewhere to put all this stuff and good luck to everybody doing nano. I'm so excited to follow along on everybody's journey and to document my own journey and we'll see you at the end of it. I hope with 50,000 words, we can do it. Okay.